Good afternoon, morning, evening or night, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex, and this episode's subject comes in from Hussein Jawad. I apologise if I mispronounced the first part there, but he asks, or she asks, How was 2014 for gaming in general? I was, I was thinking about this the other day, and to tell you the truth, I don't think it's been that good of a year. Like, j- just right off the bat, compare it to 2013. You had GTA, you had The Last of Us, you had Rayman Legends, all of these great games that worked on on the day of release, and they were memorable. That's that's the key thing. They were memorable games that are going to be remembered. <laughs> Amazing, that, isn't it? But this year, what have you got? This year's sort of been the year... You would think, because the next-gen consoles have been out, you would have thought, because it's, what, the the first proper year of releases. The first year, okay, the, the, all that time before then, it was just the... Uh, the, the testing ground for the developers to get used to the new hardware. So you'd think now would be the time for things to really start heating up a bit, get more quality coming in, but it really didn't turn out like that. When you think of 2014 in games, what really was there? Like you, you think of Destiny, you think of Watch Dogs, you think of these big titles, but you don't associate them with quality. You associate them with either being rushed or disappointed or just flat out broken on release you know you got um master chief collection not working um assassin's creed completely buggy and broken and it sets a scary precedent is this a look into what games the game schedules are going to be are they just going to flat out release these broken games that they clearly know are broken what i hope what, what i hope at least is that they're going to take this year as an industry as a whole as a whole to take it as a learning experience to okay especially for like ubisoft and all these companies that release these broken games they need to just take a step back and realize okay if we're going to release these games every year without a, any sort of delay or anything and, and they're not ready it, what it comes down to is if a game isn't ready it's not ready and if it's broken then it's going to it's going to cause nothing but controversy and and it's just going to give your company a bad name when you're releasing unfinished products that are just unplayable like assassin's creed wasn't playable plenty of people were taking the day off work to play master chief collection to relive their halo 2 days and guess what they couldn't the product they paid the money for didn't work and i really hope this is a wake-up call for every company to sort of slap them around the face and say look this is what can happen if you treat this, if you mishandle this. You know, you've you got to give it to Nintendo. They, they, they might take a while to make their games, but when they do, at least they fucking work. You know, you've got Mario Kart and Smash Bros. It's only two games, well, and Bayonetta as well, but it's, it's only two or three games. But at least they work. At least they're really, really polished and work. You know, I'm being quite negative, but 2014 as as a whole in general... It's not. It's not the worst. It's not the best. You've still got those really good um, games in there. You got the hidden gems like Child of Light, Valiant Hearts, Sunset Overdrive. It's not really a hidden gem, but it's still really good games. But they just don't quite have the the punch that something like Tomb Raider or Black Flag or The Wolf Among Us had. I suppose. I suppose it also depends on what console you're still. Or not even necessarily a console. If you're on a PC, if you're even if you're on a tablet or something. I don't. I don't really know. There's so many different outlets for gaming now that you could have just played indie games on on the pc all year round and it might have been the best year yet that, that's what i want to i want to know what 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 do you think 2014 has been like as a uh, as a year for gaming it's been okay for me as a console gamer it's been all right there have been better years there have certainly been worse years you still have a few sort of gems in there but eh, you know lukewarm on this year as a whole so what about you Give me a couple of your favourites, maybe your least favourites, your, your thoughts of the year as a whole for gaming. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you leave a suggestion for future job labs. I'll see you next time. Bye. Beware.